Hey everyone, Steve here at the DJ Lab, and guess what? DJ Studio has an update, and now you can use your Beatport streaming account to make your mixes. I haven't used this in quite a while, so bear with me. I'm just going to quickly check it out. Let's hit the Beatport. Um, get an extended free trial. We're just going to sign in with an existing one. And this is where we've got to pop up this here. You can uh, check out the Facebook group while I sit there type in my username and password. Don't need you all using my account. But you're getting a uh, free trial when you get DJ Studio to try it out. All right, let's see what happens here. Um, Beatport. Is on my playlist. Very cool. Um, let's just try something here. Sophie Tucker playlist. And so let's add them all. We're gonna add 19 tracks and just see what it does. Importing the tracks, see how long that takes. 19 tracks. 4%. It's not too bad considering I'm on a MacBook M1 Pro and um, we're running off Wi Fi here. I have a pretty good stable Wi Fi connection, but obviously, if you're not on Wi-Fi and you have an Ethernet connection, it's probably a little faster. This isn't this isn't all that bad. I just happened at the email today about this, so I'm not sure when this came out. I heard it was coming and I was waiting for it because I haven't really messed with DJ Studio that much because I was just dealing with YouTube stuff and um, I don't really have a lot of music on my MacBook. And with my CDJ 3000s and my Denon SE 6000 M's, I typically just stream from Beatport. So this is going to be really fun to see how this is going to work out. With DJ Studio, ultimately anyone can be a DJ in a sense because... As long as you have good taste in music and you pick the right songs, you can let the computer kind of do things for you. And of course, you can go in there and tweak it to be your own. So it's not complete AI. You don't need to know anything. You still need to know something. You need to know how to use the software, for example. And I haven't dug that deep into it. But now that we have this, I probably will play around a little bit more. I just kind of want to show you that this is available show you how quickly it pulls stuff in and we got the bpm information we got the key almost done here for 19 tracks coming in that's not too bad at 90 percent and obviously i'm not going to play this stuff i'm going to let it do its thing but i'm not going to play the mix because I want to monetize this video. I don't want a copyright strike or anything. We're going to continue without the mixed in key. And just going to hit the auto mix. We're going to do mood. Lock the first track and let's just see what it does. Let's see how this goes. Wow. And I don't know, this is crazy when it says it's making this many mixed combinations. <laughs> how many combinations is it going to do? Wow. Are we going to hit 400 million? 402 million. 
mix combinations to create the perfect mix. 402 million. I just want to hear one blend. And you're not going to hear it properly because I have a noise suppression on. So you just have to trust me that this is doing a decent job. Maybe I'll take this mix, save it, if I can export it, and put it up for you guys to listen to. Not the best mix I've ever heard, to be honest, but you got to go in there and set things up properly. I don't know, considering it's not my selection of music, it was just something I grabbed off a of Beatport, Sophie Tucker's playlist. I don't know. You let me know what you think. I just want to let you know that DJ Studio is out there. It can do Beatport now. I would suggest you grab it, try it out for yourself. It is free to try. And they're even giving you a free trial of Beatport streaming if you don't already have it. Perfect time to test out something new. And uh, maybe you'll use this to do your radio shows. Maybe you just want to play around with it at home. Do some party mixes for your house. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll talk to you all soon.